Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, bald explorer, and I'm out on another walk. I'm in Yapton in West Sussex, close to Ford and close to Arundel, close to, well, the south coast, I suppose. And I'm looking for relics in the landscape. Relics that when you stumble across relics of history, bits of our heritage, when, when you stumble across them, you may wonder if you don't know quite why they're there and how they got there, because all the rest of the infrastructure around that relic has disappeared. And one of the relics I'm looking for is Martin Snow. He should be somewhere around. He said he'd meet me here and we'll find out what it is we're exploring today. I know I've got a rendezvous under the arches. So here we go. Oh, we're under something. Hello, Martin. Hello, Richard. Oh, again? Again, found again, you. Yes. You've brought me under a very peculiar arch-shaped construction, which in, if I look up here, I'm just going to do a bit of detective work, see if I can work out where it is you've brought me. I think it's a bridge, but I can't see a railway. I can't see any water. Uh, I'm a bit confused. Perhaps you can enlighten me. Right, well, this was a canal bridge and we're st st standing where the bed of the canal would have been, except that it's, it's had so much infill. Yes, we're, we're too tall. We're, we're too tall. So we're standing, uh, now let me guess, is this the Arundel to Portsmouth Canal? Because we did a little bit about it in a previous video. Yes, this, this, is, this is, and we're not that far as the crow flies from where we were. Right. Um, but the canal bed between here and there has been totally eliminated. Yes. Um, this is the first um, relic, <laughs> apart from myself, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that you come to right. um, on, on the way. So, um, why a bridge over the canal? Um, it would have been to uh, provide access for the local farmer, landowner, who would have been... Bringing his sheep one, or one cattle side, or whatever, or whatever across... Whatever. You know, his building, farm would have been one side, the canal would have come along, cut him off, they had to provide this. Right, so, the, so the, the company that dug the canals provided the farm, the landowner, yes. with bridges access so they could get across, because otherwise, otherwise they'd have to wade through, wouldn't they? Well, Would, yeah, they'd have, a, they'd have a job because it, yeah. it had to be deep enough to get the boats through. So this, this bridge here is, um, I mean, it's lost to nature now. You can see remnants of it. Um, there's no footpath. Let's go and have a look, because I think you mentioned that there was uh, no footpath anymore above um, on the telephone to me when you rendezvoused me here. And that's a bit of a shame because that would have been where the farmer would have had access. It's all changed now because we're talking of about a time in 1823 when the canal originally opened. Let's just come up here. And <laughs> you can't really see it. It's just a bundle of um, brambles. That's right. Yes, they've provided this access for because there is a footpath through here, but it, um, it was originally, originally would have gone un underneath there at one time. Um, but... Uh, there's no football, no access to the north through these brambles. I think even in winter you'd have a job to get through. So, this is no good. Um, I want to see a bridge that actually looks like a canal bridge. Is there one? Uh, there's one not far from here. Brilliant. Lee Don McDuff. Ah, so here we go. This is more like a bridge is what I expected, Martin. This one is actually open and although there's no water, you can see that it's a bridge. I'm very impressed. This is much more of a bridge, but I'm slightly disappointed. It's in a housing estate, Martin. What's going on? <laughs> well, obviously they decided that they could um, build around build the, the houses um, and there must have been some sort of preservation requirement for, for the bridge because they so wouldn't have kept it. it. Let's yeah. go on, let's go on the bridge then, yeah. let's have a look. This is what they would have looked like. And I imagine this must have been on a sort of an old droving route um, where you would have got um, your, your sheep. Could could be, or it could again just be an accommodation bridge for the for the land for the landowner bringing yeah, his yeah, cattle and carts. Side. That's right, um, and and all of that. Yeah, well, be interesting yeah, to look on. There were a lot of bridges uh, of both this sort and swing bridge metal cast iron swing bridges all along this canal. Right. Oh, okay. So um, let's let's go down and have a look at the at the at the bottom and see how it compares to the one in the brambles. Obviously these steps aren't original, but they've been put in to accommodate the footpath. 
Right, so you can get down to the houses. Wow. It's a very impressive close-up, Martin. And, you know, how lucky, if you were living in one of these houses, to have this monument here to your uh, history, your heritage. Just, I mean, it must have been a complete and utter swine for the builders when they were bringing in their lorries and cranes right, and things to build the, the houses. Height, height restric you can see the height restriction on there. Wow, yeah. No, let's, uh, let's have a look. So it's quite wide, isn't it? This would have had uh, a footpath along uh, the side. A towpath, a yes, tow path. For, 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 the, for the horses. For the horses. And um, golly, and the other one you could reach, you could touch the top of you. I mean, we yes, were virtually long, long, long scraping our heads, weren't yes. we? So do you think, looking at the bottom of this, is this uh, roughly where the stones are now, the brick? Is that more or less where the water would have, the top um, of the water? I, I, I imagine, I imagine it would have been. Yeah. You'd have then had the depth of the canal for the boats. And the canal no. depths are about four foot, wasn't it? Four to five um, foot. It, no, I'm not, yes, I, I don't it. know that number. Oh, right. I do remember <laughs> oh, right. uh, reading that they're, they're no more than four or five feet because yeah. um, they're uniform, of course. Yeah, because, because the standard you, boats. Standard boats, you don't have yeah. keels and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, and then you've got, you've got this beautiful arch above you, which... Um, it's all in, I was just looking at the brickwork actually, just looking to see if it was all in stretches or headers, but there's a line of headers and then there's, then there's some um, stretches and headers. Sorry, that's a brick, no, that's a brick thing. No, all the names. I, I can't remember whether it's Flemish Bond, English Bond or but what it is, but it's, this is it's not Basildon Bond or Brook Bond, yeah. so that's, or James Bond even. This is nearly 200 years old. It's not in bad condition, really. It's, it's, it's in it's fabulous it's condition. It's been patched up a bit there, but generally, uh, and, and all of these bridges, if the canal had been left and looked after, would be in wonderful condition. Would be in like immaculate this. condition, yeah. yes. And it is such a shame that these things just disappear, that they're part of our heritage. And we allow them, because of progress, <laughs> we allow them to disappear. And, I, you know, you've got to build houses somewhere, I suppose. And, you know, mm. people... I, I, these are not my style of houses, but they'll be very nice houses and expensive houses and that people will love them. Um, and they're very large houses. And you've got to build them somewhere. So it is good that at least the bridge it's, it's, has, it's, been it's probably been preserved. Let's just uh, let's step on this side so we can right. see more of the it's more of the bridge. Better. Than... Yeah, no, sorry. I'm just so that we can see the bridge in 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 um, where it is. Um, yeah, no, you're right. I think the bridge has probably been preserved because there are houses now around yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Rather um, than if it was just left in the countryside like and, the and in the one. way. Yes. Yeah. It's still got its original parapet, whereas the other bridge, which is what stops you falling off the top. Yeah, and well, nobody wants to fall off the top, do they? Let's be fair. No, because uh, even if you wanted to fall in the water when it was there, it yes. wasn't really deep enough to fall in. So um, No, you were never yeah. going to drown, because you could always stand up, unless you're a short ass, of course. That's yes, right. Well, there you are, another relic in the landscape. Thank you very much, Martin. It's oh, been a, a joy. And if ever, I mean, one of the joys about following abandoned canals is there's often these relics there like this. And you can follow the dip, can't you, in the ground? Yes. You can follow the indent, you know, where it is. You can come across these little bits, trace it on an old map, and it makes for an enjoyable walk. And then you're rewarded, hopefully, from time to time with marvelous bits of heritage like this that you can yes. take a picture on, do a selfie and say, hey, look where I am. So join us again on another occasion when I'm out on one of my heritage walks. Thank you very much, Martin. My a, pleasure. A joy as ever. And don't forget to subscribe, press the bell notification, give me a thumbs up and make a comment. Tell me where you've been. I'll be fascinated to read. Till the next time, bye for now. Bye-bye. I thought we were going back by boat. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. We'll have to go back in your yeah, old well, banger. Well, 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 well. <laughs>